Hello everyone. In one of the old issues of the technical journal, a schematic diagram of the device was published, which was called the peacock tail. Today I want to repeat this simple, but quite interesting scheme. In addition, today I want to check out this new, bright and versatile soldering iron CO12 Pro. This soldering iron can work with almost all tips that are now common. In the description below this video, I will leave a link by clicking on which you can get more information about this soldering iron and, if desired, purchase such a useful tool for yourself. The smart soldering iron from the company Secure comes in such a box. Let's see what's inside. A whole block of stickers with the company's logo. Instruction manual. It is in Chinese and English. And here is the soldering iron itself, very compact and lightweight. This soldering iron is available in several colors, and one of them is yellow. This color is quite unusual, but quite pleasant. By the way, at first it seemed to me that the soldering iron would not be very comfortable to hold in your hand because of its rectangular shape, but since its lower part is rounded, it is very convenient to use. Also included with this soldering iron are two tips. The first type of sting is T12. And another type of tip that can be used in this soldering iron is TS. Also included is a hex key for fixing the tips. And a small stand for a soldering iron. The CO12 Pro soldering iron can be confidently called universal. Because almost all common tips can be used with it. Starting from the popular T12 and TS. And ending with stings that are designed for GVDA and FNERSI soldering irons. By the way, these are very good and reliable soldering irons. But the tips of these soldering irons have a slightly non-standard arrangement of contacts. How can these different tips work in one soldering iron? To figure it out, you need to open it. Here we see two pairs of contacts. When using T12 type tips, the first pair of contacts is activated. And when using the tip of the TS type, a second pair of contacts is activated. But if you use a tip that is designed for soldering irons of the company, for example, GVDA or FNERSI, then when installing it, the contacts do not match. In this case, you need to visually align the contacts and then fix the tip with a key. The tip is fixed, and the soldering iron can be used. By the way, the CO12 Pro soldering iron can be purchased in a transparent case. And then, even when installing such non-standard tips, it will not be necessary to disassemble it, since the contact groups will be visible through the transparent case. Well, such an opportunity to use a wide variety of tips makes the CO12 Pro soldering iron very convenient and versatile. Let's now take a closer look at the characteristics of this soldering iron. If you pay attention to the instructions for this soldering iron, then here we see that the operating voltage is in the range from 12 to 25 volts. Moreover, the power source can be either a rechargeable battery, a conventional power supply or a charger with support for the power delivery protocol. 
This soldering iron has an informative display. It also has many useful functions, for example, temperature compensation, automatic maintenance of the said temperature, sensitivity adjustment, temperature calibration, low voltage protection and many others. At a supply voltage of 24 volts, the heating of the soldering iron is only 8 seconds. Well, this is a wonderful soldering iron with excellent characteristics and it's time to check it in operation. As a power source, I will use a powerful 65 watt charger with support for the power delivery protocol. This soldering iron has two connectors for connecting a power source, a regular round plug and also a Type-C connector. When turned on, the soldering iron emits certain sounds. Now the soldering iron is turned off, as indicated by the inscription stop. To turn it on, you need to press and hold the a button. In just 6-8 seconds, the soldering iron gained operating temperature. This soldering iron has many settings. Let's look at some of them. In order to switch to the menu mode, you need to press and hold the B button. And here we see several menu items. There are several sub-items in the first paragraph. Temperature compensation, buzzer, that is, a sound signal. Temperature display in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, operating temperature. Factory settings and also a temperature adjustment step of 10 degrees. After a couple of seconds of inactivity, the soldering iron takes a step back. Next item. The time of transition to sleep mode, the temperature in sleep mode. Sensitivity. Enabling or disabling the screen in sleep mode. Next, the screen settings. Brightness, screen rotation by 180 degrees and changing the assignment of buttons among themselves. The next item is volt. Low voltage protection and power supply voltage compensation. Next item. Temperature calibration. And the last menu item is information about the soldering iron and the firmware version. In order to change the operating temperature, it is necessary to press the A button or the B button to change in a smaller or larger direction. A long press of the A button puts the soldering iron into sleep mode. The schematic diagram of the flashing light is very simple. This is a regular multivibrator. Three LEDs are connected to one side of the multivibrator, and four to the second. You can download the diagram of this device in the Telegram group. The link to the group will be in the description under this video and in the first comment. First, I will make the frame of the future device out of copper wire. Now I will solder and lead to each of the seven guides.
The base of the flashing light is ready. Now I will put together the rest of the scheme. The result was such a design. It remains only to connect the LEDs. For the connection, I will use a copper wire with a diameter of 0.1 millimeters. All LEDs light up and now they can be connected. Everything is ready. Now I will solder the wires to supply the supply voltage, and it will be possible to see how this flasher works. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so as not to miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.